Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for another Jeep video. This one is Jeep 91 and it's about replacing the blower fan in my Jeep TJ. So I've got this noise coming from the blower fan and generally that means that the blower fan is worn out. So I've ordered another one from Rock Auto and this video is gonna be about how to get the blower fan out and replace it. It's a relatively simple project. It is very simple compared to many other things that can be involving the heating and air conditioning system in a Jeep. Because when they build this vehicle, the first thing they do is put this box in. Everything else is attached to it. Fortunately, we're working with the bottom of it. So let me get a light, let me get the replacement fan, let's get busy. Now, before we get it going into the one that's in there, we've got to unplug a plug here, and then we've got to lift this tab up and rotate this, at which point it'll drop out. And um, it's possible there's just something stuck in there, but highly unlikely, just highly unlikely. This is an 18 year old vehicle, so let's get, uh, let me get the camera positioned and then I'll get started on this. Now there's not really a good way to get in here, so I apologize in advance. So you need to move this little red tab towards the back. Let me get a screwdriver. If it doesn't move easily, this you'll take your fingernail off trying to move it. So There it goes. I mean, that, that took a substantial amount of force considering it's just a lousy little clip. And then you push up on this part. Knowing that when this was put together, it was done with it on a bench because there's no way anybody works this way upside down. All right, so we got that. And then the lever is back here. So we're just gonna pull it down. And that's it, it just pops right out of there. So let's see what the hell's going on in here. Now it turns out I do have a bunch of junk in here. So it's possible that that's the source of my noise. So let's empty that out and then let's test it. So that all that shit's out of there. So to test this, well, first I'm gonna reach up in here and see if anything else is in here. Nope, just a bunch of leaves that were down here. So I'm gonna put this in first. So this isn't spinning freely. So that that's pretty much the sign right there that this is junk. Might be my fault. Let me see if I can undo. I pushed this back when I was bashing it. Let me fix that. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this fan is bad anyway. I can't get it to come back out, so.
it's not making any noise. So we can put it back in and send the other one back to Rock Auto. Or we could replace it and know that it's done. Let me see how much they want for return shipping before I make that decision, because there really doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this. It's a Bosch fan, that's a good sign, but made in Mexico, that's the mark of the devil. All right, so we're gonna try putting this back in and just see what happens because returning it is seven dollars and forty cents and Keeping it is $32 plus the tax and shipping. So let's snap this back in here and just see what happens. Shouldn't be hearing a tick, tick, ticking. So let's pop it back out of here. I guess I got lucky the first time. Oh, what a pain in the ass to reach. You know what? It shouldn't be making this much noise. This is an absolute pain in the ass because you're upside down. All right, that's going to give me a little bit better room. So this piece goes back here, and you simply raise this up.
Now, if you don't get it quite right, you're going to have to redo it. I did not get it right. And it doesn't help that you're working upside down. Uh, I'm going to reposition the camera so you guys can actually see what I'm working with. There it goes. All right, so let's see what happens. It was bad. And the resistor pack is bad too. I don't know where the hell the resistor's at, but the resistor pack is bad because um, I don't have a lower, I don't have the first two speeds. So anyway, that's all there is to changing this. Uh, I could have made the other one work, but that ticking just drives me nuts. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And um, one last thing, don't forget to push that back and lock that little clip in. Have a great day.